Hello, I'm Dr. Mahmoud Sharif, clinical assistant professor at UC Health. My specialty is breast cancer. Today we are going to discuss what women can do proactively to try to reduce the risk of breast cancer. We generally recommend following some common sense steps, such as keep up with your screening mammograms, try to maintain a healthy weight through healthy eating and regular exercise, try to limit your alcohol intake, and try to avoid hormone replacement therapy after menopause unless it is absolutely necessary and for the shortest duration possible. Women who are at particularly increased risk because of uh, multiple risk factors or genetic predisposition need to discuss this with their physicians or with a breast cancer specialist to see if there are any other medical interventions that can further reduce their risk. Hi, I'm Neetu Radhakrishnan. I'm one of the medical oncologists at UC Health. And today I am going to talk about the importance of exercise um, in your daily life in preventing uh, or reducing your risk for breast cancer. The uh, Women's Health Initiative study showed that women who exercised um, for about 10 hours a week uh, had a significant decrease in their risk for breast cancer and there have been various studies in the past few years showing that women with breast cancer who um, exercised regularly ended up having a significant decrease in the chance of their breast cancer coming back. Uh, uh, women with family history of breast cancer are at increased risk. However, this doesn't mean that they necessarily will get breast cancer. There are certain genetic mutations that do increase the risk substantially, but just having a woman in your family with breast cancer doesn't necessarily mean that you are going to get breast cancer. The odds are still way in your favor that you will not. I think every woman should do self-breast exams um, previously, it was thought that self-breast exams should be done monthly by every woman, but we now know that they do pick up only a small percentage of all breast cancers that are diagnosed um, in women. However, uh, it is important to do the breast exam because every woman has some normal lumps and bumps in her breast, and um, by doing a self-breast exam, the woman will be able to know what's normal for her breast, and uh, if any new lump pops up, she will at least be able to recognize it as something new and something that needs to be evaluated by a physician. The prognosis for women with breast cancer has continuously improved for the past 30 years. This is partly related to improved awareness, improved screening, and improved treatment options, both for women with early stage disease and for women with advanced stages of the disease. We have every reason to believe that this improvement will continue. There are newer treatment options being discovered every day and more targeted and personalized options that are expected to continue to improve the outcomes for these women. Our uh, eventual hope that we will reach a cure at some point and I hope that it will be in the very near future. At UC Health, we have a multidisciplinary breast cancer team that includes breast surgeons, reconstructive surgeons, medical oncologists, radiation oncologists, geneticists, and nurse navigators. Our team works collectively and in cooperation to formulate the best treatment plan for each individual patient. When you choose the breast cancer team at UC Health, you can be assured that you will receive the most up-to-date, scientifically proven plan of care that fits your needs.